Four-time champion Jeff Gordon stopped winning championships just about the time that Jimmy Johnson arrived full-time on the scene in 2012. And while Jimmy is now going for a fifth straight title, Gordon has been spinning his wheels at missed opportunities. But last week in Texas, he reminded us all of that famous line from the movie Network. I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. You'd never know these two are teammates, Darrell, the way they're going at each other right now. But look at the aggression and the drive shown by Jeff Gordon. Whoa, they hit before. I guess they thought you got into him, I guess. Oh, he's treated different than everybody else. They are after each other. You wouldn't know they're teammates today. He ran in the back of me, you know, for no reason, and, and my car was just so good. I guess he thought I was being too aggressive. I don't know, and he just drove into my door. I'm pretty disappointed in, in how he was racing me today. You know, we'll, we'll get the fun with it and sort it out. You don't have teammates and friends out there. You got to go out there and race hard. Well, Jeff Gordon, the, the good news is the last three weeks you've had a great race car. The bad news is you haven't been to Victory Lane. You and Jimmy got together. Some people have said, wow, it's good to see that fire back in Jeff Gordon. Is that an accurate thing to say, or has it always been that way? I feel like the fire's always been there. You know, it's just when you have race cars like we've been having uh, this year, we, you know, we had it at, uh, at Vegas, we had it at Texas, had it at Martinsville. It does get uh, me and the entire DuPont Chevrolet team fired up. So, um, you know, when you know you've got a car capable of winning, and it's been a little while since we've had the type of race cars that we're having this year. And that's why I'm so excited and proud of uh, is this team and how we've uh, turned a corner this year. And there's no doubt that um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make me want to push a lot harder out there to uh, lead those laps and, and get those positions and, and get those wins. And we're, uh, we're knocking on the door. We haven't gotten there yet, but uh, we keep running like this. It'll come. Everything good with Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, you know, we're teammates, we're friends, and we're very competitive, you know, and, and that's all that was out there on the racetrack. And we're going to see more of that, you know, uh, between us and between other guys. You know, that's, that's part of NASCAR racing. All right, good luck today, Jeff. Go for a seventh win, Matt Yoakum. Friends and teammates for over eight years. Words like respect and good rivalry used this week by Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon. So what was the most constructive part of the conversation you guys had this week? Well, I mean, I, I think we both know and realize that we're very, very competitive guys. And um, you know, there's things that happen on the track that, that frustrate people. It doesn't matter if it's a teammate or not. It's just part of racing. So I think through it all, um, I have a better understanding of that and just the competitive nature that we have, regardless of the friendship or the teammate relationship that we have. And the other part, there's always two sides to every story. So uh, it was a very, very good conversation and uh, looking forward to you know moving on and, and going racing and certainly racing that 24 hard. How has the spoiler here changed the nuances of racing at Talladega? I have to say I have more confusion right now than I expected to. I mean, when we were at the test, um, I felt like I had a really good understanding of what the car was doing and why it was doing certain things, and it seems a little different coming back. Uh, maybe it's just the environment we're in on the track. Um, but then again, I've only been in a 15-car pack, and now we're getting ready for 43. So I think there's a lot of question marks right now in everyone's minds. Nothing, nothing bad, but uh, knowing what the right move is going to be or the right lane, how to race, what's going to help you pass. Um, there's some obvious things, but there are some nuances that we just don't know yet. He starts from the best place possible, the pole. He's a former Talladega winner. Chris?